In this video, I'm gonna explain how Shopify and TikTok partnered up to create the best e-commerce experience for Shopify business owners and influencers. Okay, so first I'm gonna cover the history of how Shopify and TikTok started collaborating. Then I'll go into the new features that were just announced on Tuesday. And then finally, I'll end with the future of their partnership and how you can get more sales using TikTok for your Shopify business. Okay, so I'll take you back to last October when Shopify first announced their partnership with TikTok. At the time, what you could do is that you could run ads directly from Shopify on TikTok. So you could make ads, you could run them, you could optimize them, you could chart all of the analytics, uh, and you never needed to even touch TikTok. You could just do it all from the Shopify website. Uh, that was the first step. And you could create all these cool little ads um, that were basically like, buy now, this ring has just gone on sale and it would come up on TikTok as a little ad. It was really cool and you could add music and stuff like that and that was a great first step. And that sounds really cool, but you might be asking yourself, Stuart, do people actually make money on their store using TikTok? And the answer is yes. This man scaled up his business to be worth $5 million using TikTok. That's pretty impressive. And why is TikTok so good for small businesses? Well, you don't need all of this stuff. You just need an iPhone. You don't need a camera, you don't need lighting, you don't need audio, just an iPhone. And another good thing about TikTok is that it's sound on. You know, with stories and with Facebook ads, people might just be listening on mute, they might just be browsing on their phone, on the train. Uh, but with TikTok, people have their headphones in or their speakers on, it's a sound on medium. And another really unique thing about TikTok is that basically anyone can go viral, no matter how many followers you have. If you've just started a brand new account, there is a chance that your video might just go crazy and get half a million views. But that doesn't really happen on Facebook or Twitter or any other social media platform. And that brings me to organic traffic. With TikTok, you don't necessarily need to pay for an ad. If you make a TikTok that's good enough, it can just go viral by itself and start getting a lot of attention towards your business. Now you can use TikTok no matter who you're targeting. Uh, a lot of people use TikTok no matter how old they are, but that said, most people who do use TikTok are under 29 years old. So if you're targeting this demographic with your business, definitely get on TikTok because this is where your audience is. And you know, shopping just makes sense for TikTok because the algorithm is so personalized. You really can trust that it's gonna throw your product in the right direction to the right people. Okay, so last Tuesday, the partnership was expanded. They have added a new feature. So basically what this is, it's a little mini store in your profile and it syncs up with your product catalog, so people can basically buy products directly from your TikTok page. Kylie Jenner is in the pilot program, so if you don't know her, what rock are you living under? She has a very famous cosmetic line. If you go onto her profile page on TikTok, you can swipe right and you can see all of her products that she sells. You can tap on one of those products and it'll take you straight to a buy now page, and there you go. Kylie Jenner has just made a sale from you. So yeah, it's basically just like a mini store in TikTok. Right now it's just in the US and the UK and it's coming to Canada in a few weeks and I think you can apply to join the program on the Shopify website. Um, but yeah, it's still in early days. So a big trend on TikTok is kind of like um, fashion videos. So people just show off their outfits for the summer or for the winter. Now you can tag those videos with the specific product that you're wearing. For example, if you're accessorizing with a Gucci purse, you can tag that product and make a purchase directly from there. And you know, I can also see this working really well for like the Udi, uh, you know, just a dumb TikTok with like a couple in love wearing Udi's and then it's like a little buy Udi now and I can see that just going crazy and making a million dollars for them. So basically, you can tag products that will redirect into the merchant storefront for checkout. By the way, have you tried marketing on TikTok yet? Let me know how it went in the comments and also leave a like while you're down there. So TikTok's larger goal with this shoppable content is probably to challenge uh, Facebook and Instagram with their shopping platforms. You know how like Instagram added a shopping tab recently um, that's pretty obvious that they're trying to push e-commerce. I guess TikTok is trying to get a little piece of that cake for themselves. Who can blame them? So what will the future of this partnership look like? Well, honestly, I'm expecting that you'll be able to purchase products directly from the TikTok app, so you won't have to be redirected to the storefront. I just think that's the way things will go. I just think that would result in way more conversions, but I don't know if businesses would want customers to skip out visiting their own store. You know, if they visit the store, then they can also cross sell and grab their email addresses. But if they're just purchasing directly from the TikTok app, 
then I don't know where that leaves Shopify's whole website building model. It's unclear. So Facebook have been pushing like purchasing inside Facebook so you're not redirected to another site. And honestly, Shopify businesses, from what I've seen, don't really like that. I, won't, I, don't, I guess because of this partnership, I don't think TikTok will do that, but I do think that would make a better experience for the TikTok user, maybe less so the Shopify user. And of course, the future of this partnership will probably be that anyone can create a mini store in TikTok. So any TikTok profile could have a Shopify store inside it. Let's talk about sales. Uh, if you wanna get more sales using TikTok, um, good. You're in the right mindset, great. Uh, what you need to do is film behind the scenes footage of your business. People love this. There's a massive audience for it on TikTok. People shooting their packaging videos, people like shooting all of the receipts that they've printed out or all of like the shipping tags things. Put a video here so you know what I'm talking about. People love behind the scenes footage of success stories. Success stories are so popular on TikTok. And when you do that, um, make sure to include music. Like I said, TikTok is a sound on platform. Include music. And especially if you've got a handmade store and you're selling handmade goods, shoot some behind the scenes footage of you making your goods. That will do really well on TikTok, I assure you. For more marketing news and tips, please subscribe to the channel. And also check out this video I made last week. I reviewed a Shopify store. They were selling weed apparel and I think their website was massively letting them down. So I offered heaps of tips on how to improve conversions from your Shopify store. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Have a good day.